Hi guys. Okay, very quickly, this is a little fine-tuning thing that you can do to your videos when you upload your unlisted video. If you're giving, say, an online presentation or you're doing a little introduction to something and you want to use our online presentation pages to deliver that, then um, there's just something that um, is quite good to do. So you can see here that Face, uh, YouTube has chosen what thumbnails it wants to use. Sometimes I ask it to choose certain ones, it will give you a selection. So when you upload your video, it will give you, it will take a while to create, so it won't give you these thumbnail options until the video has actually had a chance to upload. But you can see here that it's now picked a selection of thumbnails that I can then choose from. So if I choose that as the thumbnail, then it will replace that front image so this image here that you see when you load it onto our page, so I'm just going to use one of my customers. So this is one of our massage um, presentations, and this is the kind of this is the first screen that those people will see. And I think it's probably nicer if you have that as the first starting slide as your kind of thumbnail as the as the image that they're going to see when they land on that page. So rather than letting YouTube pick that image. I suggest that you do. So what you would ideally do is you would go and download the, um, have a look, find the PowerPoint presentation that you did this presentation from, go and get that front header slide and upload it as an image to, uh, to YouTube. So you can just open your PowerPoint slide. Let me go into PowerPoint for a minute, see what I've got in here. So this is just a presentation. So for example, this is my header image on this presentation what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and click export and you have some options here when you get to export its default is probably going to be I'm going to just stick this on my desktop just to because I'm not going to keep this but it will default to PDF you don't want PDF you want JPEG and you want current slide only and I would suggest that you save it out to I don't know 800 something like that at 800 pixel width and then just do, let's just go and put this, call it a um, thumbnail, presentation thumbnail or something. And then click export. So I've decided I'm going to save it onto my desktop along with all the other mess that's on there. Um, I've picked JPEG as the file format. I've made sure that it only does this slide only because otherwise it will do all these slides. You only want this one header slide. It'll, it'll do the slide that you're on. So make sure that you are actually actively on that slide. Click export and that will pop a JPEG onto my desktop. And then what you do is when you go into YouTube, you go you can upload that thumbnail. It's unlikely that uh, YouTube will find it automatically because they tend to go for kind of bright colours or kind of it, it uses an AI to try and select to select that thumbnail. So you would then click upload thumbnail, you would go and find that slide that you've just saved, I think, what do we call it, slide one, let's just go and find that, sometimes my is it presentation slide one, presentation thumbnail, there we go, and just click open, and then that loads it up, and then that lets you select that as your, as your, as the image that you want to use, and if for any reason that you want to change it or download it, you can do that, and just click change, and then go and find another slide. So I'm not going to save that because I didn't want to, that, that's not relevant for that presentation, but I just wanted to show you how you kind of force that first image to be something that you want it to be. So I'm going to click undo changes in that case. But then when you, if you'd, if we'd done that with this video, this, that would have been the slide that you see when you enter this page and this is your online delivery page. So, so you want that slide to be impactful and you want it to be the thing that they've signed up to receive. So that's how you change what image appears on that video when those people land on that deli uh, presentation delivery page. Okay, hope that's useful. Cheers, guys.